You know, sitting here, I have to reflect. Um, you all know I'm a pediatrician at this point. Um, when I started out as a medical student and resident, um, we took care of quite a few children with ALL, which is a blood, uh, can a blood cancer that affects children, and pretty uniformly, they all died. 25, 30 years later, it's 95% curable. That all happened because of research endeavors that have gone in that period of time. So we want to put the American Cancer Society out of business as well. And really, the only way it's done is collectively through the research projects and determining the risk factors, behavioral factors of cancer. I would dare say that all of us in this room, obviously, we're passionate and in some way, shape, or form have been affected by cancer. I never knew two of my grandparents because they died before I was born. My sister had breast cancer um, and is a breast cancer survivor. My 20-year-old cousin died of Hodgkin's lymphoma, I guess now about 20 years ago as well. And that's now 90% curable as well. So I'm standing up here both personally and professionally and say we need to do this. We need to do it for ourselves. We need to do it for our children and our grandchildren. Howard County is really fortunate, and I'm really privileged to work and live here. Um, we are the, you know, the healthiest county in Maryland. Our cancer rates are below the cancer rates in Maryland, although it's the leading cause of death in, in, in uh, Howard County. So we can, we can do better, and we will do better. And it's, again, the American Cancer Society and research like this that will get us there.